This video combines what we learned from Linux to Linux communication and Windows to Windows communication. So we have virtual COM ports or even real COM ports uh, that connect to each other. So we have one program uh, we're going to use in this example, we're going to send from the, the transmit program. The transmit side is going to be the Linux and the receive side is going to be in Windows. All right, so we have the two programs. Uh, so here on the Linux side, we're we're sending from COM6, okay? All right, so COM6 is going to be the, on the transmit side, as we saw. If you followed along in the previous one, port 1 is the transmit side, and so we're going to be using COM6. Here we're going to use COM7 to receive, because we're using receive uh, on this side. So we're going to need to comment out all of the uh, transmit stuff in this program. This program combined transmit and receive. Okay, so we're going to go in and we're going to remove all the transmit, anything related to transmit. Okay, uh, anything on the transmit side, we're going to remove because this program is solely going to receive. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this one and get rid of this one. Okay. Uh, one thing that I had to do to change, maybe from a previous video, was I had to change the input input from port function to return the number of bytes that were actually read, and then I had to put the string termination character at the end of what was input. This doesn't affect anything in Windows, however it does affect uh, uh, from Windows to Windows communication, it does nothing. But from Linux to Windows, the string termination character is not included. Uh, and so you actually have to include it by counting the number of bytes that are read and placing it into the, at the end of the buffer. Okay, It's not actually written to the buffer. So uh, that's what I did. So input from port returns number of bytes that are read. And, and you're going to get this this version of the, the Windows code anyway. Okay, so... Uh, here we are. So on the Windows side, we're setting up to receive. On the Linux side, we're setting up to send. Now, one thing that you need to remember, okay, in in uh, in your VM, okay, if you go here to removable devices, okay, depending on so initially when you when we were running our Linux to Linux communication, okay, we have both both ports, okay, serial port two. Okay, which is uh, COM6 and COM7 are connected to the virtual machine. What that means is if I try to connect now to Windows to, to COM7, okay, if I want to connect on the, on the Windows side to COM7, it's going to tell me that there's a problem. Okay, it's going to tell me that it's going to tell me that it's unable to open that, that port because the Linux side is actually using it. Okay. So in order to allow the Windows side of our machine to have access to COM7, we have to go in and we have to actually disconnect okay, COM7 from the Linux side. Okay, So only, see, only COM6, which is connected here at port, as port 2, okay, because we're transmitting with port 1, okay, we're, we're transmitting with COM6, and we're receiving on the Windows side with COM7. So we need to release this this port. Okay, and you have to follow along in the previous videos to, to do this. So we need to release COM7 so that Windows will have permissions to access it. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've done some testing here just to make sure it's all going to work, is we just have the TX version unchanged uh, from the Linux side. Okay, and so what we're going to do here, let me just clear this. Okay, so what we're going to do, you're going to compile, it's already compiled. I'm in the transmit uh, bin folder. I type dot forward slash main. So this is going to run the, the TX side. But we rem remember, we have to run the receive side first, and then we can set. So what we're going to do is we're going to push to receive, and we're going to push enter. It's, it's wrote 23 bytes. Now it's showing on this screen. So now Windows has access to COM7. It successfully received the 23 bytes, and it actually received the message. And press any key to continue. Okay, it, it, it was successfully uh, received.
Okay, so that's that's this uh, this program. Now, in order for this to work, all the com rates have to be the same and everything. And like I said, I had to make one small change to the input from port function in order to make this work. I'll I'll give you the this version of it, uh, so you don't have to make any changes. Uh, but basically, what it does is it tells you how many bytes were actually read, and then it puts the string termination character at the end. Now, what if we wanted to receive on the Linux side and send on the Windows side? So here, what I'm going to do is I have to I have to do the opposite. I have to take see the removable devices. I have to release this guy and connect here, connect this one. And instead of the transmit, what I have to do here is I need to get the other program. I have to, let me close this one. Save, and I'm gonna close this one. Yep, save everything from there. And what I want is I want this guy right here. Okay, so this one is going to receive. So I'm receiving on COM7. So what I need to do is edit this one so that instead of receiving, I'm sending. So let's go here. Okay, so now I'm going to remove all the RX communications. So this one comes in, this one goes out. Okay, I want to remove this one and bring this one, TX. So I want to transmit, but I don't want to receive this time. Okay, and then I want to get rid of this one, this one. And remove this one. Oops. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to receive on the Linux side, right, and send on the Windows side, assuming I did everything correctly here. Um, everything should work now because this main is uh, COM7. Okay, it says it's connected to port 2. Port 2 is this guy, so we're, we're, we're good there. Okay, so what's going to happen next? So first we have to, uh, let me go here and open this up a little bit. Let's go down to the bottom. Let's go clear. All right. So now we want to, we're in bin. We've already compiled, but let me, let me go CD. I've already compiled this from the previous. So we're ready to go to main. Okay. So this one is going to receive. So we're going to push enter here, and then we're going to start sending on Windows and see what happens. Okay. As long as the timeout doesn't occur first. I got 16 bytes transmitted. Okay, this guy is waiting to receive. Let's see what happens here. So this guy transmitted. This guy's going to time out. He's not reading anything yet. Let's see what happens. Okay, the timeout was a little bit longer than I expected, but uh, you can see here that the 16 bytes that were transmitted were, were received. The, the timeout was about 10 seconds. I just paused it because I thought there was an issue. <laughs> but it printed out nicely. So you can see that you can both send and receive with the two programs that I've given you. You just have to make sure that the removable devices, okay, when you're using, whatever you're using on Windows, you need to disconnect in, in the virtual machine. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time in Project.